Here's a device. It's really easy to just plug into the back of your TV, power it with USB, connect it to your wireless, uh, and then you're ready to go. And you'll see this screen. So you can see here this device is connected already on, uh, on the dorm room, which is where we are. Um, I can then grab my Nexus 7, uh, open up the YouTube app, which uh, you know and love. Everyone's used to kind of using this YouTube application. You can see all my favorites in here already. Uh, for example, H Plus, which is a, a great digital series available on YouTube. I can go in and pick a video. And you'll see the cast icon at the top here. Just click on that, send it to my dorm room, and the video will start playing straight away. Does the, um... Do you think you can finish the demo without questions? What's that? We're filming. Can you, can you finish the demo without questions? Uh, you can see then I have a little notification which lets me control the video. I can also go out and pick a different video all while you're, well, while you're still watching uh, the full experience on the TV. Go in here, I can add this to my TV queue so this can play next and I can put this to sleep and you know, just carry on watching in full HD. If I decide I want to control the device again, you can see I have a lock screen notification. This lets me skip to the next video, which we just queued up. And again, I can just put this device down. Now, if someone else in the room is using the phone, they can also open up the YouTube app, click on the cast icon, and they'll be able to see instantly what is already playing on the device. They'll be able to see the queue. They can add their own videos to the queue, control the experience, and do whatever they want. So that's the YouTube application. We also, as, uh, as they showed downstairs, um, have been working very closely with Netflix on, on bringing their experience to the, to the big screen. So for example, if I wanted to now uh, watch House of Cards, all I need to do is uh, just get rid of this uh, experience of YouTube. We go to Netflix. Same simple experience. You can see the little icon on the top. Just press that, pick, pick the room you want to play in. And again, all of my queue is here, my instant queue, everything that's personalized for me in my account. And I say I want to watch Mission Impossible, just press play immediately, streaming from the cloud in full HD uh, on your TV screen. Now I can just set down my device and, and enjoy the show. Again, any point in time, if I just open up my device again, you can see the lock screen is there. Let's me pause. Uh, play without doing anything at all. But if I decide that I want to, you know, pick up pick up a different video or a different experience, or even just skip ahead. Now this is something really cool which Netflix has implemented, which allows you to actually see the scene. I don't know if you guys remember in Mission Impossible, there's a really cool scene uh, uh, with, the, with the kind of Lamborghinis and all the cars. You can just skip ahead to that scene. Um, something that just wouldn't be possible with a simple remote control. These are the video experiences. Um, these are the, obviously Android devices. If I, if I use an iPhone, exactly the same experience on, uh, on Netflix. If I just open up uh, Netflix on my iPhone. Uh, You'll see at the top there a little blue bar which says already playing. So this is already synchronized with uh, with what's happening in the in the dorm room. And you can see it's already on the same point in the video. So I can pause from this device, but I can go back and pick up a different device and play from this device. Make it really seamless across any device, iOS, Android, uh, or of course laptop. So these are some of the apps we've been working with, YouTube, Netflix, uh, Google Play, where you can rent movies. Uh, they showed you Fast Five downstairs. Uh, let me just... So if I just take this, bring it back onto my phone, I want to watch the rest of the movie on my phone. I can now open up Google Play Movies, do the same thing on, uh, on Google Play Movies, just connect to the device, uh, and we're ready to play.
same simple experience. Pause and play. Everything is available from, uh, from the device, fast forward, easy to control. Can you show how it works on the Google Nexus again? Is that Absolutely. Yeah. So, in fact, I can just set down my phone, open up my Nexus 7. Um, open up my Play Movies application. Again, this is not working through the, the common account, it's just synchronizing across Wi-Fi. And you can see I've paused it here, it's already available, press play, and away we go. So these are experiences we have with some of the apps that I've shown you. We also allow you to control uh, things using your laptop. What, what's making the request? Oh, You're alright with the demo now? 